but <sighs> guys <laughs> You're dead. What it do, what it do, guys. Today we got a GVG, and we'll be playing with Amiki, because I'm pretty sure you guys saw the quick video or the pre-launch or whatever, what's coming to next at her city, not her city, but Amiki is getting a special change as you guys saw. On top of that, I think Fenris is also coming because he's not in the damn game, so I'm assuming that's Fenris. And I'm assuming we're gonna get both of them at the same time when Ferris come out, Amiki might get her special chance. So I might as well do another video of Amiki. Now the last time I did it, she was on counter set. And this time I'm gonna do it, she's gonna be on the counter set. Now this is her current build because I didn't I didn't find anything in the slightest during these hunts. Apparently it's not giving me any counter sets because the game doesn't like me on counter. What if he snatches some gear? But so far, this is her pieces of gear. We didn't get too much of it, and then this rolled all in attacks, so I was like, I might as well use it. And then these boots rolled absolutely atrocious. I'm not gonna commit, cause we don't know how her special change is gonna be, considering that we saw wings in the video for some reason. Her base speed is 98, so either, I'm assuming one or two things. One, they change her so she'd be the trick room unit that I wanted, right? The slowest unit will go first instead. <laughs> <laughs> That'd actually be pretty sick, wouldn't it? If she has a trick room, if she have a trick room team with her, or two, I don't know. If she has her S3, she just gained combat readiness. But usually, I see a lot of people run the shooting star Katis. Maybe that's why she's getting them buffed. Shooting star Katis getting buffed for a Mickey's sake. We can't. I, I, I'm being skeptical here just because Arrowell was a special change unit that literally shook up the metal for like six months, and with the Golden Girls. <laughs> Maybe a Mickey and Shooter Star Katis might work well together. <laughs> you never know. Also, I'm pretty sure Shooter Star Katis is also base speed low. Yeah, Shooter Star Katis is also 98 speed with a Mickey. So they're both slow. So I'm really hoping that a Mickey have the, the the trick room team where the slowest shooters will go first. Because that's why they put wings on her boots. Because it wouldn't make sense to give her speedy boots. Or wings and her boots did not symbolize going faster, so I don't know. <laughs> so this is what we're running with a Miki. As you can tell, she is on counter and effect res. She's only 131 effect res because we're using MLK Ross gear. So there's some crit damage and stuff in here, stuff like that. But this is MLK Ross gear. Now here's the thing with a Miki. Her base damage is really low, so I'm assuming they're going to give her a percent attack in her specialty change. And on top of that, she has no base effect res, which she kind of wants, considering that one, you have immortality, everything ignore effect res now, and or strength. <laughs> and that's all I can really say. <laughs> and she penetrates stuff and she has like provoke also, so you want people to hit her so she can actually probably counterattack. But we're gonna get a GBG and see what we do. And also we got five MO summons, because I didn't get anything, so let's do those summons and then we get a GBG, all right? So I wanna have everybody's Everybody tell me what they've been pulling. I don't think nobody got a five star yet. I know I haven't. Well, somebody, people did get five star in my guild. And I said, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> well, at least we get the four stars, which I'm not too, you know, upset about because I can use them. Well, all my Dominions are like fully packed out unless they release another Dominion. Hey, another Gunther. But pretty much every SSS. The only one ML I'm looking for is Sullivan or Sylvain, the Dark Mage that has fire. Because he's the only one with a, I want to go like a full fire team with carry him and then Silver Blade or Amitha. So if I could get him again, that'd be great, Harado. <laughs> okay, we got nothing, but let's get a GVG. All right, game number one. We're going with Ilyanev, Christy for the Factor to give it a Miki, and we have a Miki. The reason why, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why I'm not using any immortality units at the moment because Abigail's fire, so Tayu's gonna go into her, and nobody's gonna attack in a, uh, a Miki. Jenna was gonna attack in a Christy, and then she's gonna attack the lows of the HPs because they're all neutral and not light. So there's that. We also could have brung, I don't think I have anybody else to give uh, immortality to her besides Spirit Eye Selene, but Spirit Eye Selene is, I didn't make her fast anymore so I stopped playing with her. She's only 227, so I would I definitely would have catch up and general would have just S3 and killed her. <laughs> and then, and Senji is not prepared for speed yet, so <laughs> that's why I'm making a, PV, a speedy Senji. So here's the thing, Tay's gonna use S3, hopefully he doesn't strip off stuff and she moves forward. 
I don't know. This is, looks terrible. At the bottom, we got Emma Luna Frida, and then we also have the Rage Set uh, Ludwig, which should be honestly fine if we. If Rand's happen to be faster and she's by 300 speed, then I don't know. But if we so burn, it should stop her passive from activating, and then Frida should scoot up. Yeah. Alright, let's get in here. <laughs> So let's hope this works out. So Tayu is right there below Kitty, okay. I think Jay Jenna was not up there, but Kitty's like 220. Ooh. And then Mickey is way, way, way back there. But hopefully they're gonna counterattack. And hopefully she did she get Well that's not good at all. She kinda needs her S what the point of 131 effect breast? Oh no, he hasn't raged, never mind, that's why. Ignore effect breast. <laughs> Because he's in rage. Um, hmm. We do have champions trophy, so we gotta hope hope we for a stun. Stun. Provoke. I guess that counts. Slap her. I did booty cheeks damage. <laughs> Okay, we're dying to Jenny. To this is redirect provoke, so it's gonna go into her. Uh, and since you don't have her S2 on cooldown, it's gonna go right through it. I mean, she don't have it up, she don't get the immortality. You can't stop. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Okay, Miki's kinda hard to play with considering that. Let's see if she doesn't get crit as an ice unit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Time for me to fall, yeah. It's not time for the fall. I agree. He got two more games. Okay, we are fast. So if we sober, this now will stop her passive. So she doesn't provoke and scoot up. And we stop everything else. So we'll seal, scoot up her. And we got the two sobers for... Uh, Bloody. Be careful not to get a sunburn. We want the attack buff. The thing is, we can't, like... She doesn't reflect because it's sealed, right? I'm scared that it's going to reflect and murder me. Or do we so burn for free? No, we'll get the attack buff instead. We'll go for the attack buff. He's already he's already up there. And it's also scoot him up, so... Please tell me doesn't reflect, even though she's sealed. Oh, never mind, she's dead. <laughs> okay, this is going to be my favorite GVG team. Genoa, oh, not ML Luig on a rage set. I need to put Mola Mola Gores. Frida and then ML Luna. This is going to be my favorite GVG team because it's, it's quick and easy, right? And it get passed through most teams. Unless it's like a full cleave, Zeo, Bryceria. Well, not Bryceria, but Zeo, Blitica, and then somebody else that kills after my team get eaten by a giant flower. One of the two. But Jen, but Louis just gotta survive the first initial hit. All right, game number two. DDR, T Wayne, and Amiki. <laughs> That's awesome. Bato Albedo, she is on 3F instead of Orius and whatnot. Because I barely play with uh, Bridal, even though she's really good. We got Rabi, also on counter. Let's see if who could counter the most out of this group. And we also have Candy, since I bring the counter group. Which is also on plus 27 Elbrus. So 19% chance on top of a counter set. She better counter. <laughs> Maybe got some AoEs, but we're going to see how this, where this goes. The first team here, here is, as we get the mines attack, and hopefully if Miki does it well, she won't get targeted by Genoa. But, hopefully T. Wayne, look how the speed difference, should be able to clear this off, right? And then since he's a dark unit, she's gonna go to DDR, and we do have Water Zorges. So I want to put them to sleep. We do have Orius on T-Wayne. 
I hope you find it comfortable. Life or death, everything's going to be all right. So you learn nothing from last time. And we'll see if we get the fence break on him. Oh, he's squishy. We might proc. Okay, good. Worry not. The doctor is here. What a Well, <laughs> that girl that plan. <laughs> Let's see if we can try to kill her with this. Oh, we should be able to kill. Over here. Let's just dual attack. All right, Mickey, counter. Let's start murdering. Oh, her damage is so low because her base damage is so low. Her base attack is actually really low, so I'm hoping the spell she changed. She got reason. She got crit off. Don't crit me. Why do you keep critting the ice shoot it? <laughs> Why do you keep critting the ice unit? <laughs> Alright, so I'm hoping that when they do her base her base attack will actually get bumped up. Please don't crit again. Okay, never mind, you healed up. So we have this. If she gets one kill, I'm... Okay, I forgot about that. I forgot about that, too. Let's see what you can do. If he's gonna crit, don't crit me. Okay, so is the elemental advantage even on my side or no? <laughs> At least she's counterattacking. I do give her that. She is counterattacking. I do give her that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, I'm ho more happy this is the more she ever counterattacked in a while, but this is the most I've seen Jenna will crit me on every S3. Can you at least get one kill? I'll take that. <laughs> it's really hard to do of Miki since it's the same Genoa polite as so. It's really hard to bring a team where they won't just get murdered by the additional damage from 3F or Genoa's S3 or Politis dual attack as well. Like, it's kind of hard to showcase a making in GVG. Unless you have a specific team. We'll, we'll bring we'll, we bring um, Celine, ML Celine for the last one to give her immortality for that one. So anyway, we're going to S3 to see if we get the fist break and unbuff her so she reduced 90% of her damage for Ravi. If we do, that's amazing. Good. She still got that counter, but we did counter a lot, so hopefully this strips off the defense buff. Okay, good. Her damage is going. This won't even... Ravi will be looking at this like, mm, I don't even notice this. But we're not getting any... anything. Let's see if we can probably do this. Counter? Uh, Mickey took on a counter attacks. I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Hey, you. Watch out. I'm not trying to hit Abyssal Euphina until she takes her turn because if we happen to, you know, put her in rage mode, it won't be good. Change of plans. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. But if you take her turn, we're just going to just focus her. Because Ravi should be able to S3 and be fine. I don't really enjoy this. No Elbrus. I'll send you all mm. away. Enormous All right, we do this. And hopefully this knock her back and we're stunned. Resist. I got something for you. We need Elbrus bad. <laughs> we did it Elbrus or counter. <laughs> I think a Mickey took it all. <laughs> Okay, we got one Elbrus, so. Uh, yeah. Holy sack. Do you still Elbrus? No. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Unfortunate. <laughs> we do not get another Elbrus. Heal, heal, crit. <sighs> Elbrus? She is, is sleeping! <laughs> you got one Elbert, but she died for a holy sack. 
Candy is Lily with the bed. Just end it. <laughs> Candy went to bed. Yeah, I think a Mickey stole all the counters for Candy. Uh, you guys wonder why I don't use Candy too much, but my luck for that team. Well, Ravi did counter, I'm not gonna lie. All right, game number three. A Mickey, we have Mui, she's at 375 on a revenge. Also 164 effectiveness with Circus Fantasy, was our own artifact. So she's around 200 with the extra 45, right? Which is pretty good, 200. So she gotta have a well, the 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 Lulu card gotta have around 300 effect res. So we should might be able to stun them. And then we also have ML Celine, which is a 3.4 attack. So she has the lowest attack between a Miku. I think a Miku has 3.8, meaning that we do have the dual attack EE for Mui. So we get dual attack with her. That's about it. At the bottom, we got the 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 guarantee win team. <laughs> but we're gonna see. Oh, she's right there. Here's the thing: we sh do we go for a stun or do we go for S three? We're gonna go for S two. We'll see who we can stun. Okay, we got her. Who are you people? And then we're gonna S3 to give her in mortality. Mm. Gonna go for her, which makes sense, words? I guess. I don't know why. Please correct me. Why don't you show me a trick? Go to S3. We could we could have saved this for when Lulukar came around, but Misbehaving. Oh, she, wait. Why do you have the thing? Even though she has the highest attack. It's just base attack. I'm assuming because she's a five star and a three star, and her base attack scales better with the attack buff than it does with her attack buff. Anybody? Leave it to me. What are you looking at? Okay, that's actually really good that we got this. Be careful. I'll make this aimless. Oh, we get another Dust Devil. Time to pay up for taking you okay. So, Miki is an amazing unit, so I can't wait for her specially change to come out. By the way, she just destroyed this team by herself. Check this out. <laughs> Increased damage dealt. Disgusting. What nerve. Boom. You can take me? That's all I release this dude. Just wait. So give her immortality. Please don't strip it off. <laughs> that 131 effect res. If she gets stripped off, either I'm just taking off effect res and just make at least a bare hundred, or we just gotta hope that uh she gets free effect res in her skill tree. Counter. Damn. This should fix that attitude problem of yours. Do you need to be taught a lesson? Boom. The spiritual energy. Here. Okay, I was hoping this would happen because I don't want her to get the kill. What a Miki at least try. So she's gonna target a Miki. Counter. Don't look down on me. All right. All right, Miki. This is it, girl. Ugh. <laughs> I'll make his best unit. <laughs> It's, I don't think I can try our RTA, guys. I'm being completely honest. We're a Soul Burn. You already know the gist of this. Soul Burn, free Soul Burn from Frida. And we do have Frida artifacts. So we have a 50% chance to get another. And it seemed like it activated. We did get it. Yuppie doopity doo. I would have asked three for an attack bus since nobody else is in range. I would have Soul Burn S1 if somebody was above him just for the, his passive and also her passive. But since nobody there, we're going to go for the hit chance. Also I should probably work for a blood moon haze. Nah, I, I just this should work with Calandra and Rage Set, but I need an extra twenty percent of my S three to for the Mola Bros. Yeah. Oh no. I don't have the time. Wait, he's not dead. Imagine if his S three is gonna be extinction. So we should be fine here. We do have a soul burn for. ML Ludwig for her, so look how 
Farthest pushes up, by the way. What does it a soul burn for the highest attack or highest cover it is? It's actually pretty great. I want to do this because I want to, I want him to get the kill. Well, he's definitely the kill now. Uh, uh, okay. We need Mulligoras into him now that I'm actually starting to play with this team. Put us a Mulligoras into him will definitely be disgustingly helpful, but you got to survive and not get counterattacked and get murdered on the first hit. Let's try one game with RT with a Miki. It's not going to end well, guys. Alrighty. We got below the, we got that full counter squad with Akatsis being there in the middle. Is going to die. Which is not going to be extra good for me. E. We're going to have to get rid of her since our team is all counters. Unless they never, nobody counter on this team at all. But we got a Mickey Candy that didn't do anything. She was asleep, but this time she won't be asleep, I guarantee it. And Belota. Which does, she has the highest HP out of everybody. It's not as rappy, but. <sighs> Guys! <laughs> <laughs> Amiki? <laughs> Out of Belota, Ravi, and Candy? <laughs> Come on, I purposely did not <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. I need to start putting everybody in a third slot that I want to showcase. So I'm so upset about that. That's all I can really talk about. Amiki. I legit all the characters is gonna connect, but still. Oh no. Our best bet is the legitimately S1 just to heal up. Nah. <laughs> nah, Mickey got banned, so it was over. Well, guys, there you have it. That was GBG with Amiki. Personally, she's too much of a threat. But I'm willing to, I'm, I'm hoping that her spell she changed is actually good because. As you saw, she did have the higher attack between ML Celine and her. Yeah, she's at 3.88 base attack, while Celine is sitting at a whopping 3.4. But I'm assuming because her base attack is higher, the attack, the attack buff scales better, better with Celine. So she end up not surpassing. A Miki with the dual attack chance, but it, it helped out but anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe and see you guys around. We have a fantastic sixth anniversary. It's on that thunderstorm. But I get back to grinding a Miki gear. What you guys think she should be on? Counter? I guess so. Why not? <laughs> anyway, peace.